It was a major upside surprise earlier this month for Biogen and that partner, the Japanese drug maker Azai. The two reported that a mid stage clinical trial of an Alzheimer's drug had met its goal after a year and a half. Now, that's after the trial hadn't met its goal at one year. Now, the announcement added a collective $20 billion to the company's market values, and both stocks have since continued to rise. But we didn't yet know just how well the drug worked, just that the study met its goal. And that's what we'll find out today at 4 30 Eastern. Investors appear to be pegging success. A 20% slowing of the declines associated with Alzheimer's compared with placebo. And while hopes are high for the medicine, there's reason to be cautious. The failure rate in Alzheimer's drug development is unfortunately extremely high, including at least nine late stage clinical trial failures over the last decade, just a few of which are shown here. Now, many in the field say success today would do two things one, increase confidence in Biogen's later stage Alzheimer's drug, with results expected in 2020, and two, bring major support to medicine's very understanding of Alzheimer's disease itself, that by targeting amyloid plaques, you can actually change the course of the disease. Guys. The amyloid plaques that are seen to build they up in the brain. on the brain, yeah, people. Exactly. yeah. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Mizuho had an interesting note out uh, a couple days ago, maybe yesterday, saying that 15% um, on the ADCOM score would actually be fundamentally good data, but investors are looking for that 20% number. So if it's lower than 20 percent, it's important to keep in mind that maybe that doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean the drug is a failure or is not effective. That's right. Um, so this is a new measure. It's kind of a composite measure of a lot of accepted measures in Alzheimer's trials. So people are trying to gauge just what, what will be necessary uh, potentially to file for approval. We do see numbers ranging from 15 to 25 percent people are looking for on that scale. People are also wondering if the endpoints are going to be broken out into more familiar scales in Alzheimer's drug trials uh, and whether we can compare cross trials that way. Can we do a little more in English? Does that mean people, the, their cognitive decline slows, their, their memory doesn't uh, fade as quickly, they can continue to walk better, longer. What are we talking about? Yeah, so a lot of these things are both um, cognitive and functional scores. Mm -hmm. So um, in terms of cognition, it's just being able to recall things, uh, being able to think clearly. Um, so there are these sort of composite scales of those different measures um, in Alzheimer's. But this is early Alzheimer's, so you don't see the really pronounced right. effects of the disease like you see in later stages uh, of the disease. How important is this drug to Biogen? This is a very important drug to Biogen, but they have an even bigger drug in Alzheimer's disease that's more advanced. It's called aducanumab, and we're expecting those late stage results in 2020. They're investing $2 billion at least in that program to get those results. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.